Seed Secrets – The Marvel of Endosperm Development Hey plant enthusiasts! Ever wonder about that tiny powerhouse packed inside a seed? We are talking about the unsung hero, the nutritional bedrock that fuels new life, the endosperm. But the endosperm is more than just a pantry. It also acts as a growth regulator, carefully controlling how quickly and steadily the embryo develops, both during its formation within the seed and as it starts to germinate. It's like the mission control, ensuring a smooth and successful launch. And finally, it even offers a degree of protection to that delicate embryo, acting as a cushion against some physical stresses. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. This endosperm isn't just vital for the plant, it's a cornerstone of our diets too. Think about it, where do we get a huge chunk of our calories? From grains. Rice, wheat, and corn, the three most important food crops on the planet, are essentially big bundles of endosperm. That fluffy rice, that golden wheat that becomes our bread, that juicy corn on the cob, it's all thanks to this remarkable tissue. Even for our animal friends, the endosperm in grains forms the primary feed for livestock. It's a renewable food source that sustains a huge portion of life on Earth. But wait, there's more to the endosperm story. Not all endosperms are created equal. Depending on the plant species, they develop in fascinatingly different ways, leading to three main types, nuclear, cellular, and helobial. The three types of endosperm. First up, we have the nuclear endosperm. Imagine a bustling room where the primary nucleus starts dividing rapidly creating lots and lots of free nuclei floating around in the cytoplasm. Only later do the cell walls start to form, partitioning these nuclei into individual cells. Think of coconut water in its early stages, that's liquid nuclear endosperm. The fleshy part of the coconut develops later as the cell walls form. Next, we have the cellular endosperm. This one's a bit more organized from the get-go. Right from the very first division of the primary endosperm nucleus, cell walls start popping up. So, the endosperm becomes cellular right from the beginning. And finally, we have the helobial endosperm often found in monocots, those grass-like plants with just one seed leaf. This one's a hybrid. The first nuclear division forms a cell wall, dividing the embryo sac into two chambers. But then, development in these chambers can follow either the nuclear or the cellular pattern. It's like having the best of both worlds. So there you have it. The endosperm, a seemingly simple tissue with a monumental role. It's the ultimate provider, the silent supporter of new plant life, and a crucial food source for us and countless other creatures. Next time you bite into a piece of bread or enjoy a ball of rice, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey of the endosperm. It's a testament to the ingenuity and efficiency of nature. What are your favorite endosperm-rich foods? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating plant facts. Until next time, keep exploring the amazing world around you.